Hey guys, welcome to the Focus Report from Focus Camera. This week we're talking about Canon's new promotional video, JPEG XS and Drone Control Exoskeleton Bodysuits. I'm Matt Nelson. Today is Friday, April 20th. And what is definitely our favorite piece of media this week, Canon put out an over-dramatized 90 style showcase of its latest lineup of CMOS sensors. Video capture, even in environments so dark, the human eye can't see. While a bit goofy, Canon rightfully features its full-frame sensor that shoots 100 frames per second, full HD, and exceptionally low light. So dark, the human eye can't even see it. By enlarging their pixels seven and a half times that of conventional ones, the CMOS sensor captures vivid images with less light. A new video compression standard called JPEG XS is here to make your life easier. Created by the same people who brought you JPEG, JPEG XS isn't designed to replace the original. Instead, the new JPEG acts as a low energy standard for streaming video over 5G and Wi-Fi. The idea is to stream files rather than store them, which allows JPEG XS to compress less and preserve quality. Once JPEG XS receives its final approval from the International Organization of Standardization, it's likely to find a home in consumer electronics like VR and AR. Eventually, however, the JPEG team hopes to see it in drones and self-driving cars where shorter latency periods reduce and prevent danger. Lastly, in the Future is Now news, researchers in Switzerland have created a soft exoskeleton bodysuit that lets users control drones with their upper bodies. Most drone controls require touchscreens and joysticks, but not this human scarecrow machine, which requires them to flap around with supports to guard against overtiredness. Smart gloves distinguish nuanced finger movements to gesture for trigger actions, and the VR headset gives the user a first-person perspective. That's it for this week's video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our page for more great photography content. I'm Matt Nelson. I'll see you next time.